when the first true antibiotic penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928 it was popular as the wonder drug as it saved many lives from microbial infections even today antibiotics have become one of the most important drugs needed for complex medical approaches such as chemotherapy organ transplants and surgical procedures to avoid microbial infections however increased and improper usage of these drugs is leading to a phenomenon called antimicrobial resistance in order to understand the problem of antimicrobial resistance let us first know what is an antimicrobial or antibiotic generally the term antibiotics is used in place of antimicrobials an antimicrobial is an agent that kills or inhibits the growth of a microorganism these antimicrobials are grouped according to their target for example antibiotics act against bacteria antifungals against fungi antiparasitic are used against parasites and antivirals are used against viruses do you know a fact the disease causing microorganisms or pathogens are also living creatures just like human beings so how can you kill a pathogen that reside in the body of a human being without harming his body antimicrobials have a unique property called selective toxicity with which the target and kill pathogens without harming the human body for example bacteria have a cell wall and human cells doesn't have a cell wall so if we design an antibiotic targeting these cell walls they kill the pathogen without harming human cells so often antibiotics are considered the magic bullets antimicrobial resistance occurs when microbes evolve mechanisms that protect them from the effects of an antimicrobial agent pathogens no longer respond to the antibiotics designed to kill them it means pathogens continue to grow and cause disease even in the presence of antibiotics let us see what are the causes of antimicrobial resistance Antimicrobial resistance is mainly caused by the overuse of antibiotics. Let us see where and all these antibiotics are misused. Environmental pollution. We know that antibiotics are produced in pharmaceutical industries. The liquid waste from these industries is called effluents which are generally discharged into water bodies. These effluents contain traces of antibiotics and if this is not properly treated it leads to antibiotic resistance in aquatic microflora these resistant strains somehow reach human beings maybe through drinking water or water that is used to grow food crops etc and cause diseases additionally waste water from hospitals and clinics and inappropriate disposal of unused or expired medication can also expose microbes in the environment to antibiotics and trigger the evolution of resistance food production do you know that antibiotics are also used in food animals yes antibiotics are fed to food grade animals such as goats cattle pigs sheep as well as poultry as growth supplements and also to avoid infections resistant strains survive in improperly cooked meat and enter into humans consuming this meat also the excreta from these animals reach water bodies which may enter humans through drinking water once again this leads to chances of getting fatal diseases failure of personal hygiene and sanitation hospitals are the best environment for microbial strains to develop resistance because physicians use a wide variety of antimicrobials to treat different diseases we will be scolding doctors if they don't allow us to enter inside icus right This is because the patients in ICU are more prone to infection due to a weak immune system. So, a strictly sterile environment is followed in operation theaters and ICUs. Doctors also follow safety measures such as changing gloves from patient to patient and using hand sanitizers to avoid the spread of infection. Failure in any of these measures leads to the spread of antibiotic resistant strains. Self-medication Self medication is nothing but taking medicines on their own or on another person's suggestion who is not a certified medical professional. It has been identified as the main reason for the evolution of antimicrobial resistance. Nowadays, people are becoming so-called Google masters. 
any doubt they sit in front of computer and browse the topic if they fall sick they search on the internet and undergo self medication in some cases people may avoid going to doctors due to a lack of money and undergo self medication as a result antibiotics are taken incorrectly that is either they will not follow the proper dosage or they consume excess antibiotics clinical misuse many doctors prescribe unnecessary antibiotics as a measure of precaution or to satisfy patients and their attendants for example the common cold is caused by a virus and it is self resolving that is there is no cure for common cold and it gets better on its own antibiotics being effective against bacteria will have no effect on these viruses however some doctors prescribe unnecessary antibiotics and in some cases patients force them to prescribe antibiotics this inappropriate usage of antimicrobials leads to antimicrobial resistance we the common people are also equally responsible for antimicrobial resistance so how doctors prescribe a course of antibiotics based on a person's age body weight etc but we the google masters are over conscious about our health some people take half of a tablet to be on safer side and some people discontinue the antibiotic if they feel better what happens if a person fails to complete a course of antibiotics the pathogens will be growing in the body causing disease if a proper antibiotic is used antibiotics start killing the pathogen and gradually the disease is cured let us take a case where a doctor advises to complete 3 days of antibiotics course in the day 1 the number of pathogens starts reducing day 2 most of the pathogens are killed very few pathogens are left which might be killed if the person completes the third day course but the person feels better and stops the third day course of antibiotics now these bacteria gain resistance to the antibiotic and increases in number the disease relapses and this time a strong and different antibiotic should be given as the bacteria developed resistance to the previous antibiotic what happens if a person takes an excess of antibiotics day 1 the number of pathogens starts reducing day 2 and 3 pathogens are killed gradually and one or two resistant bacteria may survive the concept of survival of the fittest comes into the picture now continuing the antibiotics for the fourth day facilitates the growth of survived resistant strains generally these resistant bacteria have less chances to survive in presence of susceptible strains because the resistance caused by mutation reduces its physiological activities such as growth motility etc this is called fitness cost with a reduced metabolic state they cannot compete with susceptible bacteria however if an antibiotic is available it acts as a selective inducer that encourages the growth of resistant strain the resistant bacteria transfer the genes responsible for resistance to their offspring through a process called vertical gene transfer the worst thing is that they can also transfer these resistant genes to other bacteria through a process called horizontal gene transfer these other bacteria may be the good bacteria present in our body also called normal microflora which are in fact beneficial to us by gaining antibiotic resistance they may turn into pathogenic forms causing diseases 